The Democratic presidential hopeful laid out his vision for America's place in a new world order, saying he was speaking as a proud citizen of the United States and a fellow citizen of the world. I think its task will be to develop an overall strategy for America in this period when really a new world order can be created. It's a great opportunity. It isn't such a crisis. All these new challenges are bringing together about the biggest restructuring we have ever seen, not just of the global economy, but of the global order as a whole. We have a real chance at this new world order. And people talked then, in 1990, of a new world order. What they actually meant then was a new political order. And what was not foreseen then, but is obvious now from everything that we see and do, what we experience in every day of our life, is the sheer scale and speed and scope of globalization. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. But what does a new world order mean for countries like ours? A world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. I think a new world order is emerging, and with it the foundations of a new and progressive era of international cooperation. We have resolved that from today, we will together manage the process of globalization to secure responsibility from all and fairness to all. And we've agreed that in doing so, we will build a more sustainable and more open and a fairer global society. Is we not the Superman? Are we on pure Superman? Yeah, we are the Superman. Superman, Superman, Superman. Is this Nazi land so good? Would you leave it if you could? Yeah, this Nazi land is good. We would leave it if we could. We bring the world new order. Yeah. I are a Hitler of world and order. Everyone of foreign race, we love the poorest.